Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math today. I'm taking a look at Immune Defense, which is a video game that is free and is awesome. It's actually a biology video game that is played through your browser using a plugin for Unity. And um, this game was actually on Kickstarter a few days ago. That's how I found out about it. And But unfortunately it didn't do so well. They didn't actually get enough money to complete the game. But chances are they're still going to be working on it because it's, it's already almost finished. Um, basically what you currently have is well you're supposed to have 24 levels they don't have those yet they have the first the first seven six the first six levels available and since the game is free and played through your browser it's actually something that you can totally use in your class because one is it is free and two is it is awesome and it's biology it's actually very very um biological has lots of different things here available to you be explaining what everything is and what uh, how things work in the game and in real life and essentially this really covers only one topic and that's immune system something that's i always found really difficult at school and something that i never really liked but this game makes me like it i actually i'm starting to slowly understand a little bit more about the immune system just by playing this game and um as a biology, as a former biology teacher, I do appreciate it. So uh, let me just show you what the gameplay is like. So there's uh, all these levels available to you. I'm going to, need to try a level I haven't tried yet. Like for example, let's do this one, making making do with less. Uh, so there's a very kind of a rudimentary story here. Pilot training, pilot training, macrophages activate neutrophils. Activate neutrophils, eat many bacteria at once. All right. So essentially, this is how the game works. It's a strategy game where you have all these bacteria you have to try to kill before your inflammation increases and kills your body. These are veins and uh, these are, I believe, component proteins that essentially signal your cells to, uh, you know, to come and eat, this, eat the bacteria. You have, th currently you have three cells available to you. Uh, this one here is under development, so it's not available yet. These are antibodies. Uh, you do have macrophages, which are super large cells that eat bacteria. And these ones have long life. They um, activate other cells. So these are like super, super eaters. And then there's uh, neutrophils, which are white blood cells. Uh, something that you probably are familiar with already. And essentially, they're also um, eaters. They eat the bacteria, but they're not as powerful as macrophages. And they can track and eat bacteria. So I'm going to release a few of these. Uh, there's energy here that's essentially your main resource and what I'm going to do is give it a um, detector uh, receptor so you can choose them right now you can also choose them later uh, and th this is actually essentially how uh, immune system works it, uh, by using various receptors and this is something that a teacher can use in classroom to explain this while playing this game or while having students explore this game so th uh, this actually would be a perfect project for a um, kind of a um, uh, what you call it? The concept-based learning uh, classroom. So let's buy one. So this is my uh, neutrophil, and right now it's using the purple thinium to, to to basically move toward the bacteria. But I don't have the right receptor on it, so I'm going to change my receptor to the yellow one. And there we go. It started to eat the bacteria by attaching to them and essentially consuming them. And the purple thingamajigs, these things, the complement proteins, are guiding it toward my bacteria. So it's actually a really awesome visual way of essentially visualizing um, how the immune system works in our bodies. Um, and once I'm done with it, I'm actually going to release one more just, just for the sake of finishing this earlier. Give it... Are these the same? So usually you can click on the cell and see what kind of a receptor it needs. So I can actually have yellow or purple. All right, I think I've eaten almost everything. Uh, one of my neutrophils actually died and it, it released a bunch of ATP, which allows for uh, random motion with my other neutrophils, which is also a really awesome concept that I never really understood when I was in high school, but um, it, it's it, this makes it so visual. Like I can actually see it and understand it so much better now with just uh, as I play the game. Um, now. I think I'm almost done. I don't think there's anything left. I think that these guys have eaten everything and they've actually... Oh! Oh, there's a new infection! Oh no! Oh no, I did not expect that. Okay. Uh, Struggler of Strophilococcus aureus. Uh, so, st uh, this is basically one of the infections that is quite dangerous in real life. Um, it's called, also known as Staph and I need to kind of try to kill it by attaching... By attaching what? Attaching these guys. 
Oh no, inflammation is increasing, inflammation increasing. I may actually lose this level. Oh, and I, I have been defeated. All right, so I didn't do as good a job as I, I, th I thought I would. Uh, so as you can see, the game is not actually easy. It's actually relatively hard. And it does kind of reflect the um, complexity of the um, immune system. So just for fun, let's actually try one of the more challenging levels that I haven't really, I wasn't able to finish either. Uh, but yeah, there's a database here that allows you to basically explore various concepts and uh, explain them to your students as well. But we're gonna try this level six here, the great escape. Uh, it introduces a new concept of uh, basically this, uh, that you can uh, activate various veins and release neut uh, neutrophils and uh, macrophages from them. So uh, you can create new spawn points essentially for your, um, for your bacteria. So here, the level is much larger, so you need to actually str strategize about where you're going to release your macrophages. And oh, there we go. First bacteria infection. All right, so drag purple complement proteins to any spawn of the vein. Drag, activate, create spawn point. Excellent. Uh, neutrophil, neutrophil, neutrophil. Down, down, down. Then purple, yellow, I think. Yellow? Yeah, yellow is good. Uh, purple, yellow. Or maybe this. No. Sticker receptor. Alright, no, this. I want this. And you guy. Alright, perfect. Now you guys are going the wrong way. Should should we go this way? Go this way. Here, eat this. I can actually guide them this way. I can uh take these tinnies and move them toward No, come on, take it. There we go. And move them this way toward the bacteria. Essentially making this a little bit more easy in the long run because that way you can move your macrophages by essentially at at attaching these um, purple thingies, also known as complement proteins. I always forget their name. Oh no, there's so many now. Oh, I didn't even realize. Okay, uh, this, this dude. No, this guy. And yoink, yoink. And move this way. Oh boy, this this game is really hard. Actually, this is so much more difficult than I thought it would be. Um, create small point. Uh, what is this thing? This thing is purple. Okay, create a thingy. And all oh right, there's actually more infection on this side. I didn't even realize, and I need to do, open up this vein for me to to be more successful here. I, I don't think I'm doing so well in this game. This is actually so much more difficult, but I love it. Uh, the more challenging the game is, the more fun it usually is. What, where is the point on playing in a, a, an easy game? Uh, Alright, so there we go. Eat them. Eat them. As you eat them, you get more energy, which means that you can create more uh, various cells. But the thing is, it doesn't make it any easier. It's still pretty, pretty hard. This is pretty hard. Okay, you take this and go this way. Ah, oh, there we go. I, I was using the wrong receptor. Change receptors! There we go. I think I, I finally figured it out. I was totally using the wrong receptors for this cell. Uh, which makes sense. Uh, not all receptors attach to all macrophages, which is really what makes the immune system so much more complicated because you need to have a specific receptor for every cell. For example, for this cell, you need this. For that cell... Oh, hi. Hello. I didn't know you were here. Uh, you... What do you need? I think you need this, right? All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh no, inflammation increasing. I'm totally losing this again. Uh, oh boy. Go here. Go here. You go here. Oh. Uh, no. Don't kill me, bro. Don't kill me. I think these uh, macrophages are too powerful. I mean, uh, the bacteria are too powerful. Uh, my macrophages are losing this battle. And as you can see, as the inflammation increases, there's more and more bacteria, there's more things to deal with, and there's basically more ways for me to lose, and I'm totally losing this, my inflammation is almost critical. But essentially, this is how the game works. You create these macrophages, you try to explore various uh, immune cells and various uh, properties of immune cells, and then you try to defeat bacteria that appears pretty much randomly, and then you have to use your vein spawn points to try to create these immune cells, and essentially... Um, defeat the evil evil bacteria by absorbing them with your white blood cells or macrophages or uh, antibodies which will appear in future versions. Now this game will most likely not be free when it officially comes out but the demo will still be free so you can still use the demo in your class because it works from the browser and it works relatively well. 
and I believe that. Uh, oh no, I released those guys. Darn it! Hey, hey, why you be like that? Uh, but yeah, essentially this game is um, probably one of the better ways I've seen um, teaching this very difficult topic of immune system that I honestly have never liked at school and uh, this is definitely making me enjoy it. So I'm posting the link for this game below, do give it a try. Um, it may require a somewhat uh, more powerful computer, so I don't think it's going to work on a Chromebook, but it will definitely work on uh, any of the Apple um, laptops or some of the more powerful um, library laptops as well. But overall, definitely give this a try. It's free, there's nothing to lose, and it's awesome. So if you want to learn more about biology and immune system, do give this a try. There's awesome, awesome um, database that explains all of these various components, various things, and various bacteria as well. And it does tell you a lot of stuff about biology. Cool, so this has been What the Math, and thank you for watching. Game you later, and bye-bye.